don't take no no moment for granted. Like celebrate the moments you have, no matter what it is, how big it is, how small it is. Celebrate this interview. Celebrate your time at at the club or your time designing or doing the interview or doing anything because we none of us know when the last day is, when our last second is. None of that is. So celebrate life to me is just cherish those moments. Yo, it's Squizzy Taylor, international DJ, business owner, fashion icon, the coolest man walking, but most importantly, the mayor of Denver. It's been about 10, nah, shit, now about 11 years. I started in college in Oklahoma. I would say that was the first two, three years, and then I moved back home to Denver and been rocking the rest of the time, about seven, eight years. To me, I was Squizzy Taylor in Oklahoma before I was Squizzy Taylor in Denver. So I had it rocking, you know what I'm saying? I had my own, or my whole school, my whole campus ride with me. So it was a vibe like that. And then there was DJs in the city, there was DJs at other schools, but I represented my school, you feel what I'm saying? So I'd say the people I know, as far as DJs, um, there's DJs in Oklahoma named DJ Kilo. He was a big influence to when we, get me started. Um, Dude named DJ Dre songs. And then once I moved to or moved back home to Denver, I would say K Tone, first and foremost, helped me through everything. You know what I'm saying? Without K Tone, I wouldn't be nothing. Top Shelf helped me a lot. KDJ above. I think that's it as far as that. And then like just DJs I look up to like on a national level. It's just like Jazzy Jeff, you know, Kid Capri, DJ Esco. You know what I'm saying? Like the guys like that, yeah. Oh, uh, first and foremost, Africa, Nigeria. Yeah, when I went to Nigeria, that changed my life for sure. That's always gonna be number one. I got booked for like I did like four or five clubs out there. Yeah, so it was it was it was random. It was a shit. I got a booking for you. This club, this club, this club. So I was there for like maybe a week, a week and a half or something, and just knocking out club gigs and stuff. But they party for real out there. You know what I'm saying? And it's beautiful. It was, it was life changing. I ain't been the same since I did that. I did some um, in Bahrain. It's like in the Middle East, it's near like Saudi Arabia. That was fire. Ball Arena, Red Rocks, Mission Ballroom, cause it was brand new when I did it. And the Shelter, that was fire. Just cause they had 8 Mile there and I got the DJ in there. It's small, it was like a little hole in the wall, but it's legendary. It's like going to Cervantes here or something like, you know what I'm saying? But it's legendary there. Mm. First of all, it was dope to be recognized as an artist because, you know, that don't happen a lot for DJs. So we usually we play our role like, you know, what I'm saying it's about the artist and we play our role. So I'm OK with doing that. But to be recognized as an artist and be on the bill, you know, on the marquee as an artist, first of all, it was just fire. You know what I'm saying? Because that don't happen a lot for DJs. So that was dope. But the, the energy was, you know, 420 in Denver is like fucking New Year's, you feel what I'm saying? So the energy was phenomenal. The fact that my last set was, the whole crowd was there, you know what I'm saying? So it was dark outside, it was lit up, you know what I'm saying? You know, Red Rock's about seven o'clock when the sun goes down, probably the best venue in the world. Just being able to experience that for myself was just a, a legendary moment, bro. Something I'll probably never forget. I really ain't even took it all the way in, but it was fire. Celebrate life means to me, as cliche as the sounds, but like, don't take no no moment for granted. Like, celebrate the moments you have, no matter what it is, how big it is, how small it is. Celebrate this interview. Celebrate your time at at the club or your time designing or doing the interview or doing anything because we none of us know when the last day is, when our last second is. None of that is. So, celebrate life to me is just cherish those moments and take a moment and like breathe and step away and think about what you're doing like this is dope you know what i'm saying this is this is fire you know what i'm saying because a lot of a lot of times i say in my life i be so much on the go i just kind of do shit and don't even think about i'm doing it you know what i'm saying because i'm already thinking about the next thing i got to do but as i get older it's like taking those moments in like bro that that's that's an achievement you you accomplished the goal or you did you did good, like just patting yourself on the back or patting your friend on the back or patting whoever and just celebrating the moments. You feel what I'm saying? Because 
that shit, we, we take it we take it for granted, especially in the world today we live, it's like we dehumanized and we, like death is just, it's, it's right here on us, you know what I'm saying? So we don't, we don't think of it as it really is, but that shit real, you know what I'm saying? So just celebrating being alive, you know what I'm saying? Being happy, breathing, being blessed. So that's kind of what it means to me. And I just, you know, I, I try to live by that and I put it on a t-shirt and, and people fucked with it. You feel what I'm saying? They kind of understood what I, what I meant by that. So it's just trying to pass that message along through my platform, you know what I'm saying? It's always big announcements, brother, but <laughs> I would say as plainly as I could say, ownership, 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 more ownership and me traveling and doing dope shit in front of large amounts of people across the world. Yeah, that's, that's what you're gonna see. And I ain't stopping.